Hi, my name's Steve. Welcome to Mind Bomb Training. Um, today again we're looking at the, the quick tips, just a um, quick snippet of information on this time how to find an accountant. Um, there's obviously a lot more in depth uh, to, to going along and finding your accountant, but just a couple of um, uh, simple tips. I should be able to give you four or five today um, on how I would actually go about finding an accountant if I was starting again. So uh, really they're an essential part of the business, either accountant or bookkeeper. And if you don't actually have those skills yourself, then it's definitely one of the things to, to be able to um, outsource. And um, traditionally, it's been very much a case of looking and uh, finding someone local to yourself. Um, and often we find them overqualified for what we really need. So think in terms of how you're going to develop your business. Do you really need all of the additional qualifications that the, uh, the accountants can offer? Or maybe you need someone fairly simple either um, a local bookkeeper that can make sure your records are straight and you get your returns in on time. Or you might just look at freelancing. Um, you could actually, there's nothing wrong with having uh, people outside of the country so long as they've got relevant experience for um, your um, requirements. You're, well, in the UK, uh, the, the tax requirements, etc. So they need to know what's actually um, happening in your jurisdiction, your part of the world. Um, but yeah, why not look for um, the, the overseas option? Um, quite often you'll find it cheaper and um, um, often easier to, to actually get a hold of the people and um, deal with them remotely. So there's no, no real harm in that. Tip number two, check if the, if the person that you're dealing with already has similar uh, clients to yourself. Try and find out whether they deal with other people that are in your line of business. And that way you'll know that they, they should have already understand what your business is going to be like. Um, so if you're a, a marketing business and they'll be able to understand the types of clients, how the money comes in, um, what, you're going to be, what you're going to be doing and forecasting forward, um, as against to if you're a, um, a warehouse business, if you're actually letting warehouse space. Um, so it's worth just checking if they've actually got similar clients to yourself. So tip number three, make sure that they're actually um, familiar with the software that you're using. Um, I think everything's fairly standard these days and the, the accountants generally can cope with all the, uh, the main software um, variations for room um, accounting packages. But it is worth checking, just make sure that they're actually familiar with the, the software that you use and that you're not going to be um, tripped up uh, constantly trying to match what you're doing with someone else's software package. So tip number four, ask around for friends and family and um, see whether you can get any word of mouth recommendations. Um, it's always best if you can actually find someone that um, uh, maybe somebody else that you know already knows. Uh, a bit of social networking effectively. You like to have a more personal connection rather than just a um, simply um, commercial one. And um, you'd like to think that you'd be able to have that um, ready advice um, for someone that was already familiar with you and your existing contacts. And one last thing, consider what um, other support you might need apart from doing the, the tax return, the annual tax return. Um, do you actually need things like payroll? Do you think, need things like um, forecasting? Maybe you need, need help with um, coming up with uh, future plans and budgeting, um, all of those kind of skills. Then bookkeeper or accountant should actually be able to help you. Um, but just think about that in advance and make sure that you've actually got the, the, the right skills with the um, firm that you're looking to use. So I hope this helps with the, the search for your new accountant for your new business. And um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for more business quick tips.